Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie and our South Island holiday, holiday, our year in the South Island is coming to an end. <laughs> yeah, we have ticked off everything on our wish list. I'm sure there was a few places we missed <laughs> out, but um, everything that we wanted to see when we were down here, we have done. And we've booked our ferry home. Yeah. So we're three weeks at pretty much till we end our trip down here, which is kind of bittersweet, eh? It is, it is. It's been such mm. a cool time and it makes me sad that yeah. we're going back up north, but it's funny to have a yeah. date on it now like we've got this firm date of crossing back to wellington yeah. so yeah it's kind of we've got a bunch of places we want to kind of tick off we're in christchurch at the moment we want to go out to akaroa again mm -hmm. some beaches up around the blenheim area yeah. we need to we need to tick off a couple we want to revisit so still plenty to do but it's still kind of yeah. it's kind of odd but at the same time we're kind of looking forward to going home for a little yeah. bit of a break really are like i kind of feel like we need to just chill for a wee bit mm. but we've still got lots planned when we get home and obviously catching up with family and friends and yeah harvey will be starting school in may he does not seem yeah. old enough to do that <laughs> your boy's turning five in about a month so yeah crazy yeah um we have kind of been it's that weird time of year where like the bulk of summer's passed we've, yeah. we've just ticked over into autumn you might see this video a little late but this is the start of march now it's definitely getting colder it's getting colder and we're kind of getting that like oh, we're back in the caravan in the cold like it's been raining and cold today and it's yeah. i don't know we're looking forward to a little bit of space for a bit um, like chelsea said we uh we've got obviously a uh, something on order a surprise for later on in the year to show you guys um, we've got a bunch of trips in the North Island plan yes. because we've got a heap of the North Island to take off. Travel doesn't stop just because we're leaving the South Island. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Um, and then we've got kind of some bigger plans around what we want to do with our house and land mm. and maybe trying to live a bit more off grid and that sort of thing. So, um, we'll I mean, there's still long. plenty to come. Yeah, Don't worry. Yeah, we'll take you along for the ride. Yeah. So uh, we're going to do a few chores in Christchurch, get some shopping done, some laundry, and then I guess we'll meet up with you in Akaroa over yeah. the hill. See you there. So uh, here in Akaroa you can stay at a campground, there is a top 10 here, and there's also this freedom camping area which is um, kind of funny, it's right by the boat yard. Um, you can stay here for a maximum of two nights. There looks to be maybe 20, 25 parking spots. Um, we've stayed here before and it's been pretty good. It is a bit nerve-wracking. Well, not nerve-wracking, but you're kind of wondering what, as you're driving over the hill because it's about an hour, 20 minutes to get here. You are kind of wondering, is there going to be a spot when I get there? Because there's not many options here. Um, we figured today's a Wednesday, so we thought if we come midweek, it's Thursday today actually, doesn't matter. Um, we thought if we come midweek, probably guaranteed a spot but if you came on a Saturday afternoon and might be full but there's some for caravans and some for um, vans as well down the other end there's smaller van ones and town is just a short stroll that way so yeah pretty cool two nights you can stay here in a calendar month so you can't stay here for super long but um, yeah two days probably enough to check out the air the town and the area and do everything you need to do so we're gonna go for a little stroll now into town and I'll show you around Alright, so this is the seaside town of Akaroa. Um, about what you see behind me is about the whole town. Uh, there's some cute little shops and stuff up there. Akaroa is famous for a lot of wildlife. People swim here with the Hector dolphins, which is the smaller uh, of the dolphin species. I think it's the only place in the world you can swim with Hector dolphins. Um, there's also tons of dolphin cruises that go out into the harbour. It's kind of like a big inlet here on the, the bit that points out from Christchurch. <laughs> It's very technical. The, the bit of the map that points out has an inlet and this is what you see here, so pretty nice. So we're going to go for a wander, there's also a playground here. There's some nice looking cafes, fish and chip shops and stuff as well. 
It's very quiet at the moment though. I guess being midweek and off season, I guess. But yeah, go for a wander, soak up some sun, and then we're gonna get a barbecue going. We've just come for a bit of a post dinner stroll, help the kids uh, get rid of some energy before bed. <laughs> um, it's actually quite nice here, there's a skate park and a little pump track just behind. It's a random mini golf here as well, but the boats are just there. There are caravans just below them and the skate park's just there, which is pretty handy. So yeah, quite a nice spot. We don't have a lot of plans for the weekend, we're just going to chill out, enjoy ourselves. Um, there is a place here called the Giant's House, which I don't know a lot about, but looks pretty interesting. I think it's some sort of big garden installation. We'll probably go check that out. And yeah, just enjoy Akaroa. There's a few shops, a few cafes here, fish and chip shop and stuff. So I think it'll be a pretty chill weekend. And then we're back to Christchurch next week to get some things fixed on our caravan. Harvey broke something and uh, it's something I can't fix. So yeah, I'll show you that in a bit. Gator. What are we doing? Gator. Riding our scooters. Gator. Well good morning, we had a really nice uh, peaceful night here last night, it's uh, nice and sunny again today, not a breath of wind out there. Um, the last time we stayed here actually it was so windy that um, the caravan was kind of shaking around at night and keeping us up but also all the sailboats in the yard all the rigging banging around and like whistling and flapping and stuff and the wind was quite interesting quite a noisy place to be in the wind um, but yeah nice at the moment I was actually thinking this morning I, was, I really enjoy being able to look out my office window if you saw the office tour video the back of the car <laughs> my office uh, and kind of seeing the ocean um, I've had some pretty stunning views out my office in the last year and um, I've kind of had a weird love-hate relationship with the office because it's quite small in there it's quite cramped in the back it's really cold in the mornings and then it gets really hot by midday uh, as cars tend to do but um, you know looking out the window at a beach or a mountain or whatever it's been pretty special so I'm gonna miss that I think when we go home my office at home actually looks out over the neighbor's house so yeah go figure not that exciting normally have the curtain shut anyway um so yeah, i think we're going to just hang out today check out akaroa um it's a funny little place it's actually was settled by the french all, all years ago and a lot of the town is kind of french inspired uh even though akaroa is a maori name which translates to long harbor because the harbor comes in it's quite a long harbor um, there are some like French bakeries and, and there is sort of French inspiration around town still which is pretty cool. So we're going to go hit a bakery I think. Apparently there's some pretty good croissants in town. Got to check those out while we're here. I said that wrong for all you French viewers. Croissants. Um, yeah and then I don't know. See what the day brings. All right, so this is the Giant's House and Sculpture Garden, and it is incredible. Check it out. There's like immaculate gardens, incredible mosaic sculptures. It's crazy, hey, Charles? <laughs> the amount of work that must have gone to this place. <laughs> it's amazing. How cool is this? The garden just keeps going up and up. I can't, I can't imagine how long this sort of stuff would have taken to make. These big elephants and giraffes here, and I like this octopus here. Yeah. But I mean, look at this, it's incredible. So, all of these amazing sculptures are done by one lady. She's done this entire garden, all the landscaping you see, the paths, all of this. Pretty incredible.
well a week to go. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit real now. Um, we've come back over to Christchurch. We've got our caravan going in um, for to be fixed later on in the week, which mm. I'll show you in a second. Harvey broke something. But um, yeah, time's running out. It is. <laughs> it's gone far too quick. I can't believe it's been Yeah. over a year. It's been a year and three months. It's and funny to kind of think about going home and getting back into that life. I think it's odd. Yeah, yeah, it's bittersweet. Like, I think we're really looking forward to seeing family and friends mm. um, and just being somewhere familiar, you know, yeah. I think is, is quite important sometimes. Definitely going to miss the traveling around yeah. and seeing new stuff. There is a lot of the North Island we haven't seen though, so yes. we're holding out for that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll show you outside about what is broken on the caravan. Basically, we're going to get it fixed this Friday and then we're out of here. We've got a couple of beaches to check out on the way home before yeah. we cross over on the ferry. So gonna have a nice relaxed week go to some spots we loved and a spot we've not been to but heard mm -hmm. good things so yeah I'll share what Harvey broke maybe I'll get him to tell you uh, this is the thing I broke see, see this there that's what I broke there how'd you break it uh, I swinged it when I was trying to get something out of there Crash. yeah so those locker doors in these caravans they go from they open downwards and if you kind of open them and drop them they go all the way down and kind of swing but they put stress on those hinges now one of those hinges is broken but the hinge is part of the entire locker frame so apparently Jaco said it's a couple hours labor they're a bit fiddly to do but they have to take the whole frame off and the door and replace it all so and obviously seal it up from the weather so um i thought about maybe putting chains on so that the locker doors can only open down 90 degrees and then there's sort of like a chain stay on them stop them going all the way down but i could see it happening and then one day harvey just dropped it and it kind of flipped down and cracked so we haven't been using that locker for a few months but we are going to get it fixed um, yeah. all right team well i think we'll leave the video there the service all went to plan the locker door got fixed it looks awesome um i'm not gonna let harvey touch it again <laughs> another thing that i also got jaco to check while we were in getting a service was the um kind of sent a bit of our wheels like the hub cap bit they were chrome and they were starting to get a little bit of surface rust on them i guess from all the salt water from all the beaches we've been parked on in the last year um so i asked them to take a look at it they said most of the time you can just clean it up but ours are a bit past that i should have stayed on top of it and probably cleaned them up so i got them to put a set of black ones on they had black ones in stock not the chrome ones i think the black ones actually look really cool so our wheels look really smart now um pretty stoked with them they're about eight to ten dollars uh, each i think yeah about ten dollars each so got a whole set on the caravan so it's looking pretty smart now the wheels are looking smart once you black them up you put a bit of tire shine on them they look awesome so um yeah stoked with the service as always good service down here at jaco in uh, canterbury christchurch so the next video uh, our last week in the south island um it's really becoming quite real now um now after that, don't un unsubscribe just yet thinking, oh, they're going home, the caravan adventure's over. We got some pretty exciting news. We're hustling hard on the kind of the next chapter um, and it's an exciting one. So stay tuned. Not this video, but the next one, we'll probably reveal more about that. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.